Good morning everyone, this is Ruth from Artful Sass Designs. Today I'm bringing you um, a journal made with a kit from Victoria Designs. This has dragonflies on it and dragonflies are one of my favourite things. And this whole kit is full of wonderful images and I just fell in love with it. So here we are. I also love stitching and sewing so the front cover reflects that and we'll get to that. So I have um, sewn and stitched the front cover, a little bit of quilting, a little bit of embroidery, and I printed one of the images um, onto um, a nice tight woven cotton, and it's worked really well. On the, <coughs> the, on the spine, there's another print with the dragonflies and it's got a plain cotton back. I'm going to put Artful Sass Design here and we've got a dragonfly image with some sari silk around it. The um, tie is sari silk ribbon as well and with a little bit of quilting on the spine. That's another little image of a dragonfly. It's very stuffed but you can take some of it out to prevent it looking quite so gaping but let's get on and have a look at what's inside. So this just unties and we'll put that to one side. So as I said the front has, a, um, has also got a charm, um, some beads that match in colour and they're tied with some sari silk onto this pin. This front cover opens and I have a card in there, just a journal card with some collage on the back. and nice dragonfly on the front and the those are French knots and some straight stitching the sari stitching the sari ribbon is um, attached around the side I think it makes a, a nice frame for the front cover so opening up into the front page um, the inside front cover is lined with cotton and I have put some tea stain paper and another fine image of a dragonfly on the inside. They have um, a cotton pocket also dyed with um, um, stuff. It's one of the images from the kit printed onto material. This is a little um, recycled envelope and it has a tag slipping in there. <coughs> this is recycled from um, some clothing. The inside of the envelope has got a little stamping as well. And this is also material with some an image from the kit. And that just slips in the front pocket. I'm not going to say from the kit all the time, but there are lots and lots of journal pages in the kit and it's just amazing. They're so detailed and layered and it's a lot of fun. This is a side flap with a little pocket. Well, it's more like a tuck spot really. With um, a couple of journal card there and just some lined paper there to write on. On this side, um, there's an image of dragonfly wings. Not, not in the kit actually, but I just love the shape of dragonfly wings and their delicacy. Uh, this is a little envelope and has a little butterfly and but lots of journal space there you can just write in that and you can tuck things in there if you want to i'll do that later on the other side um we have a pocket this is actually um from my stash it was left over from motherhood kit and two journal cards collage from the kit and some stitching up the side ledger paper, some more tags and there's a little notebook from the kit. I've added some tea stain paper and a little bit of stamping. It's a little fun notebook. There's one or two of them in it. Another little journal card just paid from the kit 
I just added a little label there. Oh, this is <coughs> a die cut. And I love this image from Ruby and Pearl um, of their beautiful butterfly. It's just so special. It's such a vibrant green colour, I just couldn't resist it. Um, and again, a little bit of a die cut. There, this I covered it in acetate just to protect the die cut and to make it easy to get the journal card in and out. Avocado stain paper, little tuck spot collage, another um, tag, line paper. This is a beautiful white paper, it's very fine and delicate. I have one or two of these collage, so it's a mixture of textiles and paper and images. And I've also used some fancy stitching from my machine, but I think it works quite well. A double pocket, that's French script and some little tags. Slip in there and one of the other little tags from the kit. <coughs> Here we have a double tag, this little flip out where we have some um, little pockets, tiny tag, and it's a postcard. There's more layering on the journal pages and a beautiful dragonfly. I've used a journal card as a tuck spot and Another little papers from the kit and another little notebook. This one just opens out tea stained paper and a little bit of stamping on the back. Slips in there. Here we have another double pocket and a little flip out. Two little tags from the kit and some journal space. Lots of detail on the kit that makes it really interesting. Line paper, ledger paper, little tiny pocket. Um, here I've used um, a recycled envelope to make a flip and it opens out so there's an extra pocket here, some journal tags and another one of these um, little notebooks and a side tuck spot you can actually write on there and on the back and inside there's another collage tag I'll put that in later and here I have an another um, tuck spot a double one so we have two little a tag and a journal card in there and an envelope this, this envelope has got um, a beautiful image on the front with a very subtle dragonfly and I've just put some journaling paper inside and some avocado stained paper lots of space for writing I'll just put that on later and this is just another journal card. Beautiful, subtle design. Here we have a recycled envelope and I've added another little top spot here with a tiny little card and two tickets in there. I not want to go back in that one. And there's another collaged tag. This is from the kit and this is just a piece of silk and again with the stitching, decorative stitching and a zigzag right round. The silk is actually an old tie. And on the back there's another little tag spot with a tag from the kit. Another dragonfly image, that one's from my kit with two journal cards. This is from the tag kit from Roxy Cre uh, not Roxy Creations, from Love Junk Journals from Tracy Fox. So it's one of her layered tag, tag kits and I've put on an image and another couple of labels, just a little bit of material there. 
and it's got lots of space on the back for writing. The layered tag kit was fun. And on this page we have another flip out. So this flips out and we have another tuck spot. Plus journal card. Little tuck spot on the flip side with two little cards. And that's a little botanical image there. And a collaged tag. This one has a little silk thread and some um, tea stain paper on the back, which is plenty of room for writing. This one little flips out as well. This is a tutorial from Roxy Creations. Um, it's a trifold. And we have a little pocket on the front, two tags, and a pocket on the back with two tags, with just one tag this time. It opens to um, a belly band on one side where we have a little notebook, lots of space for journaling, um, some line paper and some plain paper. And on this side it has a little pull out. So you've got some space to put in your extra ephemera. I don't know if you can see that properly. It opens right out with two pockets. Um, on the back of this one, we also have the same thing. We have a pocket on one side, the tag, and we have the pull out where you have room to store your other ephemera. So that was um, a tutorial by Roxy Creations. She, she does um, a lot of tutorials and they're lots of fun to follow. This is the centre of the signature and we have a couple of charms, some silk and this, I couldn't find a dragonfly but I found a charm that was a dragon so next best thing and some beads that, that match the beads on the front. As I said these bulky things, these bulkier ones can be taken out if you want it to be slimmer. Um, on this side we have a flap, opens out some more images and um, some stamping and this is the biggest of the notebooks and this has an envelope which you can put something in, hide your secrets. And some tea stain paper for writing, a little bit of lined paper, and there's a little tuck spot pocket on the back. And that just that just pops in there. And that paper clip just keeps it closed. So the notebook doesn't slip out. On this side I have a little tuck collage tuck spot with a larger, large tag and um, tea stain paper, avocado stain paper on the back. Again I put the decorative stitching up the side. This is the back side of that recycled envelope. Again we have um, a recycled paper and images from the kit. And it pops in there little collage from the tag, little tuck spot on the back and this is just a little journaling spot with a little stenciling and a little bit of die cutting, tea stain paper, um, journal card made into tuck spot, collaged journal card, that slips in there. You could also fold something in Oops. You can also have something in there as well if you like. A little journal card just held in place and this is a little notebook. This slip could slip in a handbag quite easily if you just wanted to note a few thoughts down. Tea stain papers. Line paper. There we have a double pocket. Collage tag. Two little tags from the kit and I 
think that's actually from um, Love Junk Journals. Little pocket from the kit. Ah, uh, this is the flap. Just some collage on the back of the flap, but some stamping to make it more interesting inside. Tug spot. Um, this is one of my favourite tags. So um, we've got images from the kit, little um, labels. That's from um, Love Junk Journals. Some material and thread holding the tab in place. And avocado stain paper on the back. Another die cut on the page for decoration. Here's another one of the um, paper and material um, decorations for the pages and this delicate white paper. I, d I like the contrast of the white against the tea stain. Don't be afraid to use white. It's beautiful thin paper, very delicate and you can almost see through it. Lined paper, pocket from the kit and some little bits to journal on. Collage tag and a journal card tucking into the pocket and it's a teeny tiny tag in there. Love the stripes. Collage page from the tag and this is um, a flip over, so it flips over. So we have a tag in the front, collaged and with the little bit of silk lining it. There's a little bit of jelly print on the back of that just to make it more interesting. Other side of the flip, um, oh, actually it looks that way doesn't it? So we're just a little bit of collage there and a, t a tiny little collage tag with a beautiful dragonfly. That just slips on that side of the flip. And this is the second big flip. So this is a trifold. Try to keep in shot here. Um, so the trifold is collaged. Um, these are actually from my background kit, the dotty papers <coughs> on uh, Artful Sass Design background papers. Um, there's a teeny tiny pocket there and another one there. These are a freebie. I think it was from Victoria Designs, the perfume pictures. This little flip has some um, tea stain paper to journal on and it just opens out into a full sheet. Lots of space for writing. And then you can tuck it away again so nobody can see it but you. That sits in there. On the reverse side there are two pockets. Again, the background is collaged and it just says you are loved. Two little, um, well, one card and one um, tab and the same on the side, a card and a tab. And inside we have a rather lovely postcard of a dragonfly. May you, may you touch dragonflies and stars, dance with fairies and talk to the boon. People might think you're a bit crazy, but you'll have fun. That's the last page in the signature. And on the inside cover, we have some tea stain paper, the same as the front, and a deep textile pocket with a collage up the side. This is a mixture of jelly print, silk, and some dictionary paper. Has a little button for And this is the last of the notebooks. So I have bound this one, there's two little tabs and it has a little tuck spot there so you can use that to tuck something in like that. Um, has some French script, some avocado paper. I actually was using um, dyeing tea stained and avocado at the same time and I managed to get some of the avocado on my tea stain but I rather like the effect. It's really quite interesting. So, lined paper and more of the 
avocado and tea stained. And that is the little notebook. These are beautiful papers. It's a lovely kit. Um, and it's from Tina at Victoria Designs. And um, I hope you enjoy looking at this as much as I've enjoyed making it. Um, I'm going to put this in my Etsy shop and I hope to see you all there. Thank you for taking the time to watching and have a great day.